Just invite bad spirits, or...? Mm, not, not necessarily bad spirit. Sam, what can I do for you? We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It's Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time, it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars and space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Ah, oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. I know, mind-blowing. 